Okay, so here we're going to, we have a, a Dell Optiplex 7060, and this is a Dell Optiplex 5060. They look the same on the front. A couple of you, four USB ports. You could have a knock a DVD here. I don't for any of these. Uh, and you can see on the back uh, for the model that I've purchased. Um, really, the only real difference between these, the, this 5060 and the 7060, is the 7060 comes with PS2 ports, which nobody cares about. Um, a serial port, which nobody cares about. Uh, well, they're, they, I mean, they are handy, you know, if you're working on devices, but generally not a big deal. And this has additional uh, USB port and additional uh, uh, display port header. Um, but basically, they're the same inside. I'm going to pull this 5060 apart, um, and uh, let's get to that. So, again, this is a Dell Optiplex 5060. And the first thing we do is pull the hammer down here and slide that thing off. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, pull the drive out and uh, let me tell you how nice this is. Uh, instead of having, this is completely screwless now, you can just pop this out and the drive just pops out. So really slick. Um, uh, the usual uh, slide lock trick here to uh, get your um, uh, chassis in and out, except it's tied in with the front here, so you have to pop these front uh, clips, which is hardly a big deal, but you need to know about it. That just pops out, and then you can put in whatever disc you want. Three and a half, two and a half, whatever. Um, the uh, power supply, um, the, well, let's just take the, take the chassis out part there. The uh, power supply comes out with um, pretty simple uh, three screws, one, two, three. And uh, when you pull those three screws out and you try to slide this out, it won't go. And that's because you have to push this little tab down here and it will slide right out. And then you simply have to disconnect the header there, the power header there, and the power header on the motherboard right there as well. Um, now looking at this, uh, something I can tell you, we've, uh, one of the reasons I pulled this apart to start with was because I wanted to use an M2 uh, chip. So I sourced uh, a pile of Toshiba. RC100 uh, chips and um, uh, they don't work uh, and that's because well let me rephrase that they will work I've actually put, popped one of these in but it just sits in here loose and uh, that's not particularly good I needed it to clip down properly so let me just show you I take the RC100 pop it down goes in nicely I've loaded an operating system on it just to prove it would work but if you take a look here you can see that uh, the uh, uh, chip is too large or too small, whichever way you want to look at it. The uh, mount for this is here. So it's a uh, 22, I don't know what size it is. It's like a 22 mil wide, maybe 30 centimeters long. This is a 2242, so I'm going to guess it's something like a 30. Uh, apparently it works just fine off of this uh, 80 mil header, so 22 by 80. Uh, but the uh, but the standard 2242 will not work, so that's a bit frustrating. Anyway, that's it for our teardown of the uh, Dell Optiplex 70, or sorry, 5060. And as I said, the inside of a 7060 is the same. So it's got a few more things on the motherboard, but that's it. So if you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.